Christ Church Cathedral. Christ Church is the second Church of Ireland cathedral in Dublin. The other one is St. Patrick's Cathedral. The building that can be seen today is older than St. Patrick's. It is believed that it started off as a small wooden church built around 1030 by the Viking King Citric. It was built inside the old city walls. All around it was the old Viking city with packed houses, workshops and narrow lanes. It was replaced around 1200 with the beginnings of the stone building we see today. Many people added to the cathedral since, but by the 1800s it had fallen into disrepair. As in the case with St. Patrick's, a wealthy Dublin man came to the rescue and donated £230,000, which is the same as €26 million, Euro, to restore it. The name of this man was Henry Rowe, and he made his money by distilling whisky, while St. Patrick's was saved by the Guinnesses and the money they had made from beer. Henry Rowe turned the cathedral into the building Dubliners know today, but while the outside was much changed, the inside stayed pretty much as it was in the Middle Ages. Inside the cathedral, one can see steps leading down to a huge underground room running the whole length of the building. This kind of room in a church is called a crypt, and it is often used for burials or chapels. It is not quite clear what it was used for in Christchurch, but it is reported that in the 17th century it was divided up and rented out as shops and taverns. Tavern is an old word for pub. And in those days, travellers would stop off for a bite to eat or drink. Many people and stories are connected with Christchurch Cathedral. One of the famous people is Lawrence O'Toole, the Archbishop and patron saint of Dublin. He invited Augustinian monks to live beside Christchurch. The remains of some of their houses can still be seen inside the grounds of the cathedral. Inside the cathedral is the tomb of Strongbow, the Norman knight who came to Ireland with the King of Leinster, Dermot MacMurrah. Strongbow married MacMurrah's daughter, Aoife, and himself became King of Leinster in 1171. He is supposed to have started the rule of the Normans in Ireland. The figure on his tomb shows a knight with a shield dressed for battle. His hands are joined and his legs crossed. One of the strangest events ever to take place in Christchurch happened in 1487. The English were fighting over who should be their king. In order to win this quarrel, some of them found a ten-year-old boy named Lambert Simnel, who looked very much like the princes who were kept in prison by the English king. They gave him fine clothes and jewels and crowned him King of England in Christ Church Cathedral. Many important Irish lords and nobles attended the ceremony. When the lie was discovered, Lambert was dismissed and sent to work in the king's kitchen, but his life was spared. <laughs>